So once that we have fully defined our physical property environment with the component list and the property method, and we have fully defined the simulation environment, setting up unit operations, their conditions and streams. And once that we run the simulation, it's time to verify for results. So there are three main types of results that we want to uh, check out. First one will be the simulation, because if we have several warnings, or logical errors or essentially anything that might uh, affect our results then why bother checking out the results of the unit operation or the stream so first things first check out always for the results of the simulation you can always do this here once you run the simulation check the status and you can see here these are the warnings or once that you run the simulation just click next and it will prompt you to whether or not if you want to further continue equation oriented uh, inputs or the thing that we want to do now is display run status result form. So this is very important he is present in this part right here. Let me compress all this and run the results. This is what you want to check. Maybe if you're talking about convergence, you want to about streams and so on but right now the important part is our simulation went correctly or not and in this specific case we only have warnings which are totally acceptable normalization of a multiple value in my opinion in this specific case is totally fine 